Well, here's what we know. Uh, you know, CNBC discovered this lobbying disclosure report uh, that shows that Jeff Reschetti, uh, the brother of Joe Biden's White House counselor, Steve Reschetti, is going to be lobbying for Amazon, one of the big tech giants. So the focus is going to be partially on issues pertaining to the coronavirus pandemic and the CARES Act, implementation of the recently passed CARES Act. And so, you know, we haven't heard anything official yet from Amazon, but people familiar with Jeff Reschetti and Steve Reschetti's relationship say Jeff does not plan to lobby his brother. Um, but these people have not ruled out in the conversations with me that his clients, which, by the way, he's seen an uptick in clients over this past year mm -hmm. while Joe Biden was running for president against President Donald Trump, uh, this, they've not ruled out that his clients are going to ask him to lobby the White House. And I think that's from what I'm told by ethics experts, ethics attorneys, could be at the very least a PR problem uh, for this incoming administration. And at the worst could be ethics hurdles also uh, for Biden and his team, because clearly, you know, there'd be question marks just to see here as to how much influence Jeff Reschetti is having in this White House as his brother uh, is a key advisor to Joe Biden. Because we do know that uh, President-elect Biden has made some comments in the past about Amazon, you know, and, yeah. and, you know, I don't know what that means. They don't pay their taxes. I think they do pay their taxes. It's just the taxes that they're paying uh, come to a certain number because of the way the existing law is. But that doesn't mean that President-elect Biden couldn't uh, somehow try to, to pass some legislation that would change that law. That's some type yeah, of alternative yeah. minimum tax or something. Yeah, you're 100 percent right. I mean, that's it. That's it right there. And even if you want to take that those comments that were on Squawk in May uh, that he had in that interview with you guys, you know, you have to also just look, take that and kind of look at the bigger picture. Clearly, there's going to be some scrutiny on big tech from this administration, maybe not right away. Uh, I know within the, the, the first 100 days, a lot of it's going to be focused on uh, covid relief and things of that nature. Um, but big tech and the target's going to be on the back of Google, Facebook, Amazon and others, uh, clearly. Uh, with this administration, as it was at certain times, to be fair, uh, during the Trump administration as well. So, you know, that is why people like Reschetti, who have ties to these key players in the incoming Biden administration, are, are getting hired by the, the, the likes of Amazon and why they're yeah. seeing an uptick in compliance as we go along here. Well, it couldn't be much worse for Amazon than, <laughs> than the last four years, right? But wow, yeah. thinking about the Washington Post. And their treatment of Joe Biden, I, I don't think they need any lobbying. I mean, oh, my God. I, Amazon had probably got a picture of uh, the Amazon logo in, in the, the office for Joe, right? No, I'm kidding. I, I can't. That, that, that's way, that's a, you know what? Should have said commentary. They should have flashed the commentary when I said that. Right, Brian? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's that's your, your point, Joe. I, I think that we're, it'll be interesting to see how everything plays out as we Forward, these lobbyists. But then you've got some important stuff, though, right? I mean, some of those contracts, remember, that, that have been going uh, back and forth. Um, you know, what, 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 remember, it was Oracle versus AWS versus yep. um, Microsoft. Jedi, yeah, I mean, that's, that that's right. I mean, that's what we saw under the, the Trump administration. There was that back and forth regarding the Jedi contracts. And that at that time, when you, when you look at that, uh, Amazon did hire uh, at least one. I'm, I'm sure many more. I didn't catch all of them, but uh, but one big lobbyist uh, named Jeff Miller, uh, who was very close to the president and still is. He's one of his key fundraisers uh, during the campaign. And so, you know, this is a pattern by them. And I'm, I, I, I think I could say many other big tech companies by hiring key players that are close to people in in the past. At this point, this past two administrations. And so, you know. That's kind of how it's how it's been, and so it's again going to be interesting to see how this all plays out with how much influence these guys have in this uh, Biden administration. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.